Good morning students. This is Sabina Aegi from JJ College of Arts and Science. Now we are going to see about three-tier architecture of mobile computing. First of all, what is mobile computing? Already we know that the main concept of mobile computing is mobile communication, mobile hardware and mobile software. First one is mobile communication. The mobile communication in this case refers to the infrastructure putting place to ensure that seamless and reliable communication goes on. These would include devices such as protocols, services, bandwidth and portal necessary to facilitate and support the started services. Next one is mobile hardware. What is mobile hardware? Mobile hardware includes mobile devices or device components that receives or access the service of mobility. They would range from portable laptops, smartphones, tablets and personal digital assistants. These devices are configured to operate in full duplex whereby they are capable of sending and receiving signals at the same time. Okay, next one is mobile software. What does mean by mobile software? It is nothing but it is the actual program that runs on the mobile hardware it deals with the characteristics and the requirements of mobile applications this is the engine of the mobile device in other terms it is the operating system of the appliance in other term it is the operating system of the appliance it's the essential components that operates the mobile device this is called as mobile software Next, we are going to see about mobile computing architecture. Mobile computing architecture refers to define various layers between user application interfaces, devices and network hardware. It contains three tiers. First one is user interface, it otherwise known as presentation tier. Second one is process management, it otherwise called as application tier. Next one is database management. It is also called as data tier. First tier is presentation tier. It is deals with user facing devices handling. It is responsible for presenting the information to end user. Information is given to the system from keyboard that is computer, laptop, cell phones etc. It includes web browsers like Mozilla, Internet Explorer etc. Okay. Second tier. Second tier is application tier. It is performing the business logic of the processing input, obtaining data and making decisions. It is capable of accommodating hundreds of users. Operations such as network management, security are performed using a middleware software. This is called as second tier. Next one is third tier data tier for database access and design it is used for used to store data needed by the application the data can be stored in any form of database next one is middleware software it is defined as a layer of software which is sits in middle between the operating system and the user facing software it has message oriented middleware transaction middleware communication middleware database middleware these are middlewares in the softwares next one is operating system structure operating system refers to as a platform to run the other services and being easy to the user to use service like voice calling message service camera functionality internet facility etc Mobile operating system is different than a general purpose operating system running on desktop machines. Mobile devices have constraints and restriction on their physical characteristics such as screen size, processing power and battery power etc. In this operating system structure, mobile operating system is a platform on top which other programs called application programs can run on mobile devices first one is application second one is os libraries third one is device operating system fourth one is 
low level hardware manufacturer device drivers this is called as operating system structure next features of os it has multitasking file system interface input output interface memory allocation and protection and security next one is mobile operating system platforms what are the platforms symbian os palm os java me platform iphone os google android platform windows mobile os blackberry os and linux os these are the mobile operating system platforms next we are see about these operating system first one is symbian operating system kernel manages system resources and responsible for time slicing the application and system task next one is symbian os library next application engine and server next we are going to see about palm operating system it is an embedded os designed for touch screen based graphical user interface next one is java me platform it is a set of technologies specifications and libraries developed for small devices like mobile phone pages and etc it was designed by it was designed by sun microsystems next one is iphone operating system iphone os is a operating system runs on iphone and ipad it is based on mac kernel next one is android versus ios ios is a mobile operating system which is provided by apple in corporation it is mainly written in c c++ objective c assembly language and shift the first version of ios was launched in 2007 next one is android it is a mobile operating system which is provided by google llc it is based on the modified version of the linux kernel and other open source software it was developed using c java c++ and other languages the first version of android was launched by google in 2008 and these are also called the difference between android versus ios note down the points okay guys thank you